Hi, it's Dr. Rivera. Today I'm going to cover moss life cycle. We're going to start out with a little piece of moss, like what you might see growing outside on a tree or in your yard, or sometimes it grows on my roof. Here we've got our gametophyte. That's the main green part of the moss. And this one has a sporophyte growing out of it. I'll talk about where that comes from in a second. So for now, we're thinking about the gametophyte, which is the haploid main green tissue of the, of the moss and the sporophyte, which is the 2N diploid tissue of the moss. So the sporophyte is going to have inside of this little capsule here, um, it's gonna have meiosis occurring. And so this is gonna go from 2N to N. So when meiosis occurs inside of the sporophyte, we're gonna get N cells, so cells that are N, okay? And we're gonna have female spores and male spores. So these are our spores. Our spores are gonna be brown, so I'm just coloring them in brown a little bit for you. And these spores are gonna be N, so this is meiosis. 2N to N, okay? Spores. So these spores are gonna grow into their own unique organisms. So, they're gonna grow, there's gonna be the spore and then little green haploid tissue coming off of it. Both of them will do this. And one of them is gonna develop into a male gametophyte and one of them is gonna develop into a female gametophyte. Okay, so they're just growing via my mitosis. So just cells dividing like usual. And so eventually they're gonna turn back into this sort of gametophyte form. So I'll draw another little one of these. And this one will as well. Okay, so now they're gametophytes again. Well, they've been gametophytes this whole time, but they look like the what we started out with. Okay, so there's a little bit of green in here. So we remember what they are. So this one will be our male gametophyte. And this one will be our female gametophyte. And the male versus female gametophytes will have different structures right at their tips. So right at the tip of the female gametophyte, we have an archegonium, or well, she has several archegonia. And these are gonna house eggs in them. So there's an egg. And since these are haploid tissues here, these eggs are going to just come about via mitosis. So the eggs are haploid, just like the regular tissue. So this archegonia is still part of the gametophyte, so I'm gonna color it in green. And the gametophyte makes the gametes, that's easy to remember. So the male gametophyte, at its very tip, is gonna make antheridia. So these antheridia are gonna be full of little moss sperm. Okay, so that's what's in brown there. And then the rest of the gametophyte tissue is gonna be in green. And the sperm in the antheridia, so antheridia house sperm, are also N in chromosome number. So they're also N, so they also come about by mitosis of haploid tissues, okay? This sperm is gonna travel to an archegonium. This is flagellated sperm that needs to travel in water. So I'm gonna say needs water plus water. It's gonna be able to travel and fertilize the eggs in the archegonium of a female gametophyte. So this fertilization is gonna occur in the archegonium, and so the female, uh, the female gametophyte is gonna actually grow the sporophyte right out of her tip where, the, um, where her archegonia are. And so in this little archegonium, we're gonna grow a whole new sporophyte. So I'm just gonna draw that little part of it here. So fertilization. And I'm gonna redraw just the archegonium part of this for now. 
So it's kind of what I had before. And right here is our little starting egg and it's gonna grow a little shoot. And so this is gonna be the growing sporophyte. And this growing sporophyte is 2N. So this is our brown again. And then the rest of the archegonium is green. Okay. So this is all part of this little bit here. So just right here at this tip. And so as this sprouts out, it's gonna grow into this whole nice fancy sporophyte structure. So we get fertilization to make a two end sporophyte. Okay, the two end sporophyte will undergo meiosis inside of its capsule when it's mature to produce haploid spores. The haploid spores will grow into haploid gametophytes. The haploid gametophytes make sperm or eggs which are haploid cells that will then undergo fertilization to make a new sporophyte.